Hello and welcome back to Analysis Review. The Eurozone crisis is back with a vengeance. An inconclusive election in Greece saw big gains for populists and extremists, but gave no one party a working majority. It did, however, send one clear message. Voters are fed up with austerity, but international lenders say there is no alternative. So with both sides at loggerheads, the question that many feared all along is now on the agenda. What if Greece exits the euro? With me to discuss this are Peggy Hollinger, FT leader writer, and our capital markets editor, Richard Milne. Welcome to you both. Okay. Peggy, start with you. After that election result, have we moved closer to the point where we ask, is it time for Greece to go or it's inevitable? Well, I think there has to be a risk, doesn't there, after the election this weekend. I mean, one of the real key questions here is just how badly do the Greeks want to stay in the euro? It's up to them to decide. 70% say that they want to stay in the euro and yet they vote in a, a, a collection, diverse collection of political parties, many anti-austerity. They haven't made up their minds yet. Right, but it's still, ultimately, they've got to make the decision. They what have I think to make the argued. decision. Yeah. It's up to them to decide. All right. Richard, it's not the first time that we've been here looking at this scenario. Is this any different? Well, yeah, I think um, both from the, the policymaker side and the market side, every time something happens with Greece, people hope it's the last time we're going to have to deal with Greece, and it just comes back again and again. I think this is, this is, it, it is, different it, it, it's more serious we're but reaching why? real, why? What, what, real is it because fatigue. it's gone political that basically now we're seeing the, the, the leadership has essentially the old the established leadership's lost control I think you have reached the limits in both the debtor countries like Greece and in creditor countries like Germany of, of, of what's acceptable what's possible um, and you also see you know if Greece were to leave the euro I mean it's not going to do it in a nice uh, smooth way this is going to be messy um, it's going to be horrible and um, the question is just True, how but, but horrible you could say markets have now had quite a long time to prepare I mean do they I mean put bluntly do they care anymore one hears that a lot of the banks have written down their stuff their and, exposures to and there is an argument that it wouldn't be as disastrous for the eurozone if Greece exited now as opposed to two years ago when we were in a much worse state to actually deal with it we've had two years to think about it we've had two years to plan for it clearly there must be a plan B for an exit of, of Greece we all want Greece to stay in but if it has to go, it has to go. And I think that actually we're much more resilient. Well, uh, and I think you saw that when Greece mm. did default um, just a couple mm. of months ago. You did see that resilience. But there is that still that, that Lehman question in a sense. Mm. We sort of prepared ourselves for that default. But I don't think controlled default. They wouldn't sort of say, well, this weekend we're going to do it. We'll just wake up one morning and it will have happened. And those kind of shots.